So this video is on the slightly more advanced way of looking at the four elements. So um, we will first start working with me. Um, four elements they often do in a fairly large way, a fairly crude way. They tend to put people in boxes a bit too much. And I think as you get more sophisticated, because it's a super deep model, and it's really, I've been working with it for at least 10 years now, and it's really, over time, it's really de deepened and developed for me. Um, you'll see that it's more situational than you might think. It's more subtle than you might think. You'll see the mixes in a different way. You'll also see the different aspects. So, um, you know, Earth might have an aspect of stability, but it also has an aspect of structure. It has an aspect of formality. Um, air might have an aspect of, of lightness, expansiveness, but also silliness. Fire might have an aspect of, say, passion, but also boundaries and also direction. You'll see that each element could open up into two or three more elements, right? So we, we, because it's just a model, it's always crude. The model's never, the map's never the territory. So we could subdivide it, in, and some systems do. They go 8, 16, 32, whatever. Um, so you'll see the increasing sophistication. Um, and you'll say, well, they have this aspect of fire, but not this aspect when you work with a client. They'll be like, oh, they're missing the passion, but they have the direction, yeah, or not the boundaries. So um, that's useful. Another useful thing is getting more subtle about it. So it's like, how subtle can you do the elements? So let me see if I can do this now. Earth, air, fire, water. I'm just shifting my weight. Or how can you use each body part, like eyes, fire, water, or hand, you know? Is there like air, water, fire, earth, the spine, the breath, the feet? How would the feet be contacting the ground in each? Yeah, what imagery goes with each? I mean, it can be very literal, fire, flames, or you know, water, but what else can you do? How would you mix them? So air plus fire, explosion, for example. How would that mix be? Yeah, or um, water plus earth, mud. Yeah, how would that be to embody that mix? Um, so you see, you get more subtle, more sophisticated. You'll, you'll put them in a verbal context as well. For example, there's that fire in the voice, and then there's the earth, ah, and then there's the water, and then there's the air. Yeah, so you'll be able to put that into your voice a lot more, um, which is very helpful as a trainer for influencing groups, for example. Uh, you'll learn to do them in different contexts, like sitting down. There's some corporate groups we have to be in a chair, to all the elements in a chair, or someone's in a wheelchair, um, or different cultural contexts. You know, there might be different associations there. Um, you'll, you'll learn how the environment you're in is affecting. The, the weather, for example, really affects when you're teaching four elements. Um, the physical place you're in, you know, doing fire in Tel Aviv or Moscow is totally different than trying to do it in Bali. Yeah, uh, it's a different vibe. Another thing you'll see with the four elements is you'll just see it in more and more areas. Um, I remember one student, as they were getting more earthy, they realized they were like chopping carrots in like exact segments. And they saw that earthiness apply in that way. It doesn't have to be jumping around the room. You'll see it apply in how you drive, um, uh, how you make love. You know, you'll see it how you tell jokes. You'll see it apply in more and more ways. And that can also be almost like a game as you're learning this. Be like, okay, what would it be like to skateboard in the elements? You know, be careful. <laughs> what would it be like? How are the elements showing up now in this tango class? Or my music collection, what does that say about me in terms of the elements? How can I use music to influence the elements? What about cooking? Is this cuisine very fiery? That might be literally like, uh, you know, chili in it. Or something in it where you eat it could be very quick and fiery. And, just get the food in you for a purpose, yeah, as opposed to the water, really letting the substance of the food come to you. So um, I hope you're seeing how this, is, this can be very broad, very broad. So um, yeah, there's some of the subtleties you're gonna learn as you, as you work more with four elements. And I'd really encourage all students to keep um, digging into it um, and just to realize that it's a profound model. You know, the reason it goes back potentially thousands of years as a, a shamanic model or a pagan model um, is that it's so rich.